Well, good evening, everybody. Happy Friday night. How y'all doing out there? Uh, welcome to uh, Lee and Molly's Onward No Matter What Friday Night Call. So glad that you could be with us for those who, who are. And maybe this is a night that you're not and you're listening to the replay. If you are, that's great, too. want to think that you are either out there working your business or spending time with that awesome family or friends of yours because that's why we do what we do so we can work our business the way we want to work our business. Uh, to all the newbies out there, welcome. Um, I still I see a few here that uh, I have not seen before who were talking. So uh, welcome, welcome to Avon, first of all, the best company ever in the whole world. Uh, but welcome also to the Onward Call. Uh, Lee and I are senior executives with Avon. Um, it took us a long time to get there, but we have managed to keep that position, and we are hopefully now with the new title of National SBUL. We have got a new goal that we are going after, and um, we hope that we're going to be able to say that here in the next year or so. Um, and for the rest of you, wow, am I watching you all move up or what? I'm seeing titles. Uh, I'm seeing candidates become unit leaders and unit leaders becoming unit leader pluses and, 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 and AULs and a couple of EULs out there and maybe even an SCUL or two. Haven't seen it, but you never know. Congratulations. And, and let's not forget the sales, the things that keep us going, the right now money. What about all you PC and above members out there, those who sold, $10,100 or more of Avon, you need to stand up and give yourself a standing ovation. How awesome is that? Honor Society, over $20,000. Rose Circle, over $38,000. Are you kidding me? That is some awesome stuff. And for those of you who don't know, I mean, look, man, President's Club and above, we're talking the top 10% in the nation. I'm not just talking about your district. I'm not just talking about your division. I'm not just talking about your state. I'm not just talking about your region. I am talking about the whole United States. If you are PC and above, you are in the top. And by the way, leaders, candidates, it's the same deal. If you are in the other leg of this business and leadership, and if you're not, you should be, because how in the world do you walk with just one leg? We got sales. We got leadership. The sales is for ma making the right now money, and the leadership is for building that retirement, that residual income, that thing that you can give up, that full-time J-O-B, that thing that says I can take my kids anywhere I want to go to, Disney World, Winslow, Arizona, anywhere you want to go, that is what the leadership is part of. You have to understand that, that this business takes time. It takes time to build sales. It takes time to build a leadership team business. But the point is, doesn't everything worth having take time? Doesn't it? I mean, I tell you that, that, that even in sales, look, you know, everywhere I go, it seems that if I'm looking to share the opportunity of Avon and, and give – some, some woman or, or man the opportunity to make extra income or maybe change their life and maybe give them something they can be happy about that they're doing, it seems like even when I don't find that, I always find customers. So that is why Avon Sales is the right now money. It's right now. And, and whenever I'm out doing that, if I don't come about come back with a new recruit, I'm always coming back with one or two customers. I'm always coming back with less brochures and recruiting flyers. I'm always coming back with less business cards. I'm always walking away with a smile on my face that says, "Uh huh, I've just planted some seeds." So, so let me let me say what we want to talk about tonight. Number one. Everybody has already started, a few have started, celebrating the President's Club Gala celebrations, whether you're having a luncheon or a dinner in your division, whatever you're doing, 
everybody is starting to celebrate that for the top sales, for top leadership, for the elite of the elite. And yes, you are the elite if you are going to that. And if you are not going to it and you missed it, this is the time to jump on board and make PC because now it's from campaign 8 to campaign 26 for this year and this year only. And you do not have to sell $10,100. You sell less than that. And, and the point is, if you were ever going to do it, now is the time to do it because you don't know what you're missing with these events. I mean, this is like the Emmys of Avon. If you have not been, look, they got the awards, they got the little Avon Emmys is what I call them. I've been calling them that for 10 years. The first time I got one, the first one I saw, I said, oh, my gosh, I just want one of those. And, and I was parading it. Let me tell you, you would have thought I just won picture of the year because I was parading it around. This is something where Avon celebrates us. They celebrate us. They celebrate what we do. They celebrate the money we're making, the way we're changing our lives, the way that we are, we are changing everybody else's lives around us, whether it's your customers, whether it's your team, whether it's your family, whether it's maybe, maybe it's the church that you're tithing to. Maybe it's the charity that you're giving to. Maybe it's that next-door neighbor that you're helping. Maybe it's that person who just came out of a divorce. Maybe it's that person that looks so unhappy working at the CVS or the Target store. I'm telling you, whether you handed them an Avon brochure or you've given them the opportunity and they're working on it, we make a difference. We make a difference in this business. But, but, but sometimes what happens is we get way too caught up. And look, this isn't just Avon, but this is, this is in life. We get so caught up with what isn't going right. But what happens is we forget about all the good that we do out there. And if you don't feel like you're doing good, let me change your mind tonight in the next 40 or 45 minutes. Let me talk about your greatness as an Avon representative. Let me tell you about the things that you do, that you do it so often and it becomes so monotonous that you do not realize how you are changing lives every single day. I don't mean twice a week. I don't mean once a campaign. I mean for those of you who are truly working your business like a business and you have goals and you know what you want and you're saying, I'm not going to give up, I'm going to get out there, but you still feel like you're not where you want to be. You still feel like you're not moving as quickly as you would like to. You still don't think your sales are as big as you want them. You still don't feel like your team's as big. You still don't have that title that you want. I am telling you. I am telling you that your greatness is growing. See, I don't know what it is about, about this, this thing that we have with always wanting to hang on to the bad stuff, the bad stuff. And I don't understand why everybody doesn't, you know, do you understand why Lee and I do Thursdays, we do tell me something good? The reason we do that on the Onward No Matter What group, the reason that we do that is because we want to remind you that there is always something, even when you have to, to, to dig deeper than normal, even when you do, there is always something that you feel good about. It seems like I can always find something about my business when my life is maybe not going as well. But yet when my life, is, my life is, 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 is okay and maybe my business is not doing as well or maybe there's been a lot of rotten stuff that happened, I can find something in my life that's good. And, and, and that's what we don't do. And, and some of us, look, I get the whole coming from a place in your life that, you know, somebody is putting you down and, Somebody has told you you're not going to be 
anyone ever in your life and that that Avon thing just sucks and I didn't make any money at it and I wouldn't buy from you and they took my money and yeah, 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 look, I'm telling you, 10 years in Avon, you're going to hear that more, you're going to hear it from, from, you know, Debbie Downer or, you know, Donald Dillard, you know, whoever it is who wants to bring you down, let me tell you right now, that's never going to stop. But you cannot let those things affect your greatness and your want to to produce something bigger than you can even imagine. For all of you who have been in Avon for a little while, I want you to think back. I want you to think back from the beginning. I want you to think back about when you started this and maybe you weren't so sure. Maybe you said, man, I don't know if I can do that. And this is why I want you to think back. Because see, 10 years ago, that was me. And you all have heard me say just about every call I've ever had in the last, what, year and, and three months, you have heard me say, look, I know because I can't talk to you about what I have not experienced. I cannot talk to you about what I don't already know. Look, I would love to talk to you about having a $100,000, you know, paycheck. But I don't have that yet. But I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. And when I look at people like Millie Garcia and Lisa Wilbur, who is, you know, much, you know, more than that, the point is when I look at that, I say, I know this can be done. When I look at my upline, Mary Ann Penn, I say, yes, I know this can be done. And I keep my eyes on those that in my eyes, they are much greater than I am. Let me tell you something. There are executives out there that are doing bigger numbers than I do as a senior executive. Okay? The point is, their greatness is still coming together in the area that they want to go. They want to be senior executives. And it is coming, but it hasn't all come together for them yet. And I can tell you that for somebody who was pushing the numbers, executive into seniors for six years, I just couldn't bring it together. I did not have the right combination of team and sales, and, and I just knew that I couldn't forget that I love what I did. I could not forget that if I could come this far, why couldn't I go a little further? But when we get stuck in that little cubbyhole of where we are during the problem, or maybe somebody's not working out the way that we thought they would work out on our team, for instance, you just know who your next unit leader is. Executives, you just know who your first executive is because you're working to get the senior. And you work with this person for how long? And all of a sudden, you see this light and you say, oh my gosh, this person really doesn't want it. I've just spent all this time and all this effort thinking this is where they wanted to be. And I realized that unless I'm doing all the work, they don't really want this. What am I going to do? I've spent all this time, and we're so close, and now she's going to quit. Wow. Yeah. It happens. It has happened to me more times than I care to share with you tonight, okay? But we do not know exactly what to what to look for all the time because look guys even in this in this thing called Avon when we're building a team we are taking each person by faith why because most of them we don't know very well we hear what they say sometimes we watch what they do and the actions are there and we have to take it by faith and we got to hope it's going to come together but guess what Sometimes it doesn't. But I am here to tell you from my experience 
that when one does not work out, that means there is something better for you coming and you may have not just that learning experience, but you may have a few more learning experiences out there before you find the right combination of what you need to meet your greatness, where you want to go. But what I don't want to see is you to focus your ultimate goal and make that goal your greatness And I want you to start seeing that your greatness starts right where you are today. If you haven't noticed it until now, your greatness starts here. Why? Molly, how how can you say that I'm great? And Molly, I'm trying to hang on to unit leader. Well, because you're still here. And something keeps you here, and it's something that you believe in, and it's something that you must love, and you must be trying to find the right combination. Oh, you know those, those, those little uh, combinations that used to be on the lockers and the safes, and if you don't go around the right number of times and you go to the left and start at the right, and you can try it 150 times and it doesn't work because the right numbers or the right number of terms just aren't there yet. And you keep practicing and you keep following the directions and you keep doing it again and again. And again. Okay, let me tweak this. Maybe I was supposed to go around once and not just go to the number. And then when you figure it out, it all comes together. Do you know what made you great in that moment at being that locker breaker or that safe cracker? That you didn't just walk away from it. That you said, oh, no, you're not getting me. I am going to see this through until the end. See, the people that I see are great are the people that when they're coming on to the onward group and they share how wonderful their day was, and oh, this is just great, and it's wonderful, and boy, everything is in place, and my event went wonderful, and I have 35 leads, and we had two on the spot, and I have 16 new customers. Listen, listen, that is awesome. And isn't it great that we have days and events like that? We need them. But what's really awesome and great is when you can identify that not every day in your life is going to be great. You may wake up one day of an event and have a pounding headache, and when you get there, the leg of the table breaks, and you notice that there's a grease stain on the tablecloth, and oh my gosh, it wasn't a grease stain, the skin so soft oil split open, and it ran all over everything, and you say, onward, no matter what, this event is happening, and we are going to push through it. And you don't come on to onward, and you don't just share the great things, but you say, man, this day started out like this, but in the end, I wasn't letting the lemonade lemon stay. I turned them lemons into lemonade, and as I kept doing it, it got a little sweeter. And when we walked away, we only walked away with two new customers and one possible recruit. But let me tell you, we saw it through. Because I'm telling you that greatness comes from seeing your plan through. Greatness starts with the first step. But seeing it through, no matter what the obstacle, no matter how many times you stub your toe in business and in life, is saying, nope, this is all part of the journey. I am not letting this get to me. I am going to move on. Does that mean you're not going to cry about it? Nope. I mean, if you ask Lee Ben how many times I've cried over something that hasn't gone right in my business or in my life, he's going to tell you he could have filled up buckets, maybe bathtubs, with what we've encountered. 
And I'm going to tell you that there are times when I have literally sat down and said, no more. I quit. This just doesn't seem like it's worth it. I work my ass off. And I, this isn't going where I wanted to go fast enough. And Lee just looks at me. Okay, baby. And I sit and I pout and I cry and I'm snotting and snorting. And next thing I know, I realize I got another event. I got to meet another person tomorrow. This day has really sucked, but it's time to do what I, what I preach. And I've got to get up and say, okay, I quit for five minutes. Now it's time to get back up. And it's time to rehire myself, and it's time to get back to business because we are always going to have bad days. And having a bad day does not mean that you're a loser. It does not mean that you suck. It does not mean that you're not good at this. People say, Molly, I don't know what to say when I'm talking to people. I don't know. You know, people come up to the table. I want to talk to people right there in the store, and I don't know what to say. And I am going to tell you, no matter what people tell you to say, it's great to hear what people say. It's great for me to tell you what I say. But if you don't get out there and say something, you're never going to learn what to say. And I will tell you in this business, part of the saying is to stop and listen and zip your lips. You know, when somebody's asking me about Avon or they want an Avon brochure, you know, immediately I know if they're asking me for a brochure because they've seen the signs on my car or they've seen a button on, on my shirt or I'm wearing my Avon hat, the point is, I don't want it just to be there. I want to make sure that I have filled all those, those empty lines. I want to fill all those blocks in for them. And I'm like, oh, you know, have you had an Avon representative before? Oh, well, yeah, I used to buy at work. And, you know, then I quit working there. Oh, you quit working there. You know, what happened? Did you find another job? Well, no, I'm actually out of work right now. Oh, you're out of work right now. Yeah, yeah, I am. Hmm. Immediately you're like, wow, okay, they're out of work right now. See, well, you know, are you, current, are you still looking? Or are, you, are you looking for employment? What is it that you're looking to get into? Well, I am, you know, I've got my feelers out, you know, I really like people. It's amazing how many times people say to me, I really like people. I, I really would like to do something with people. And I smile and go, wow, really? It's amazing that you said that because <laughs> you're, exactly, you're exactly what I'm looking for in my business. And they're like, whoa, whoa, what you, I thought you did Avon. Yes, ma'am, I do. We are looking for somebody like you who has a need to want to make money and, and somebody who likes people because, see, what I do, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Well, well are, are you talking about me selling Avon? Ma'am, I am ta telling, telling you that if you take a brochure or find some people who love Avon just like you did that stopped and asked me about it, I am telling you that if you find enough people to share the brochures with, I'm telling you that you can make lots of money doing this. And what happens is I'm not looking to close the deal right there, people. See, a lot of times that's the problem. Sometimes it's easy to just close the deal. Damn, yeah, I've been looking about it. I was thinking about it. Yeah, when can I start with you? Look, those are the things that come along every now and then. But when you stop and you, you listen to people and, and stop worrying about closing the deal right then, look, if it seems to me that lady's in a hurry or maybe she wants to get away from me, I say to her, um, oh, I'm sorry, my name is Molly. What, what's your name? And immediately she'll say, oh, Diane, uh, Diane, look, 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 I know you're probably in a hurry. I, I can tell you're on your way in the store. Um, look. I'm going to leave the brochure with you. 
I, I've got this flyer here in the front that tells you a little bit more about Avon, but, but I was just wondering, knowing that you're looking for some employment, w would you mind giving me your number? Could I call you and follow up and just tell you a little bit more, but when you have a little bit more time? Oh, oh. Sure, sure. When's a good time for me to call you, Diane? Do you want mornings, afternoons, evenings? What's good for you? And, and she'll normally tell me what it is, and I'll say, I'll, I'll be in touch in the next day or so. What just happened there is I did not back her in a corner, that I planted a seed. I did not have to dig up the ground, put the seed in there, plant it, water it, cut it off, put it in the pot, Wait for it to germinate. Make some others. No, 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 no. Not everything can be rushed. Sometimes finding a new recruit is like a fine wine. It has to take time. But you are looking to plant seeds in this business, and we get so caught up with we need 10 for this, and we need 7 for this, and I need 6 for this, and I need it right now. And then you don't understand why you have 8 people you signed up and one person puts in an order. You don't understand that. Well, I'm here to tell you it's because you're so busy cutting people off at the knees that you forgot to plant the seed so you could follow up and water the seed and see it grow. Some of the best people who have come onto my team are people that, that I have talked to in the last few months. And, and, and then what happens is I, I call them back again in a few months. Maybe they say not right now, but maybe later. Or, or maybe they say, you know, Molly, I'll contact you back. And then they do. And when they come, when they're ready, when life has come together with them, then what happens is what? What happens? They are some of the best representatives and leaders I have ever had on my team because I did not force what they were not ready for. That's a hard one to hear in this business because everything is, is at a rate where we feel like we are just can we get more recruits from the other person? See, see, guys, look, we're always sharing what we do, how many people do we have signed up and all of that. And look, that's great. I love it. I want you to share it on, on, onward. I want you to share it with me. I want to hear about your successes. I want to watch you grow. I don't want you to grow just because the other person has one number more than you. You hear me say all the time that this is a numbers game out here, that when you find the right amount of people, that, you know, eventually you will, you will get where you want to go. And there is so much truth to that. But the point is, some of your best people you can scare away because anybody will pay you $15 to get them out of your face if that's what it takes. We don't want people who are doing it because we have them backed in a corner. We want people coming into their business because we have shown them not only what it's done for you, but what it's doing for your team and what it could do for them. And boy, I, I could have an answer to something in your life. And at that moment, you should not be feeling like a failure because you did not close that deal. You should feel your greatness, your greatness at planting the seed, your greatness of not just handing her the book and leaving with a customer, but of planting the seed of what Avon could do for her in the long term and then getting the information to follow up. See, your greatness lies in your actions. Your greatness doesn't always lie with the big awards that you get. Your greatness is what you do every single day to help further your business and your team's business and to help people get great products and to help people earn money by sharing these great products. We get so confused with, awards and, and numbers and earning gift cards and what we do out there and we never stop to think what makes what makes us what makes us feel like we are in our moment in our greatness and for me I always have to revisit it 
Always. See, I think back 10 years ago, longer even, when Mary Ann Penn threw a book in my driveway and she found me as a customer and for 15 years she put a recruiting flyer in there and she had mentioned the opportunity to me and I balked at it because, see, I didn't have a need. So what she did is she planted a seed and for 15 years she watered it. And she would plant another seed with another flyer in there. And then something changed in my direction. And, and for year 15, here came another seed, another brochure with another recruiting flyer. And I needed to be fertilized a little differently than just buying the best products. I needed something more. See, I needed to earn money. And Marianne fertilized that seed. And if you ask Marianne today if she knew that when she threw that book in my driveway and was my Avon representative for 15 years, she will tell you she had no clue that in 10 years she would have a senior executive. Never. We don't know what's coming. We do this business by faith. Faith, hard work, trying to believe what people say, working with those who are working beside us, not waiting for us to drag them. You know what? I've heard Millie Garcia many times in her videos and stuff say, when our team shows up, we work with our team. When they don't show up, we work anyway. It may be just her and Carlos out there, but the point is they're out there working their business in one form or another, and if their team isn't there and their team wants to complain, what do they do? They say, they say, you know, let's revisit your goals. Let's revisit what you said you wanted. We are giving you an opportunity to be out here to show you what you're doing. Unless you're out there doing it on your own, if you're not here doing it with us, you're not going to reach these goals you wanted to establish for yourself. We're here, but it's up to you to show up. You've got to walk it. I watch so many people come on onward, and you all see me getting on them, you know, this whole, uh, I can't get any customers, I can't find any recruit. Y'all act like they're out there hiding behind a tree or something. You act like they're underneath the rock or they're hiding around the corner of the porch, you know, or, hey, maybe they're in the milk section of the grocery store, and they very well could be. But the point is, it's not just about saying, okay, who has an R on their head for a recruit and who has a C on their head for customer? No, 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 no. See, it's up to us, you know, Y'all have seen the videos of me on my, on my my patio deck out there, and you all have seen the birds and the squirrels and, and all of that, and, and you see me. I'm posting pictures. I'm posting videos. Do you know why they're outside my deck? Not because they just say, Molly's cool. We think we'll go hang out with Molly. No, because... When my brother put those bird feeders and stuff out there, he did the number one thing you got to do. You got to put some food out there. You got to put some corn and some bird seed and some of that good stuff they like to eat. And when you do that, suddenly you're like Dr. Doolittle is what happens, and then you got a whole smorgasbord of everything out there. But it's no different than what we do. We have brochures. We have samples. We have, we have recruiting flyers. We have all these things Avon gives us, and they are, we leave these bits of food all around, and we plant the seeds, and before you know it, people are going to come one by one. Sometimes they come two by two, but they will come. Quit thinking that your greatness lies with how fast they come. Your greatness lies in the fact that you got up today and you didn't say, I quit and mean it. Your greatness lies in 
even though you can't work your business the way you'd like for three days because your kid is down sick with the flu or you're at the side of a, of a loved one who needs you or somebody in your family passes away and you have to be away from it, that when that thing is done, what happens? You say, I've got to get back to business. This is what I do. This is what I've meant to do. This is my passion. This is what I want to use to change my life and my family's life. I want to change other lives out there besides my own, and, and I've got to get back to it. I've got to jump back on the horse, and I've got to ride that Avon pony, and I have got to share and plant my seeds and put my brochures out there and have my little table events and do my little yard sale things and do what I can to build my business. See, that is where your greatness lies. Your greatness lies in your never give up attitude. So many of you are so hard on yourselves. And if you're not hard on yourselves, in public, on the Onward group, you are hard on yourself to me. How many of you have private messaged me or texted me or left me a voice message that says, you know what, I'm just not sure if this Avon thing is for me. I just don't seem to get anywhere with it. Well, I'm going to let you all in on the same secret I told them. As long as you keep thinking that way, you won't be any better than you are right now. The moment you start saying, I don't think, why don't you change that and say, I think I'm going to be more successful than anybody else in having their own business in my family. I am going to make this thing work. If I make a mistake, I'm going to learn from it. I'm going to move on. If I I do something wrong on this, you know what? I'm not going to cry over spilled milk. I am going to get up, build my business, take the good times with the bad times. Let me tell you right now, your greatness lies in where you choose to go with your problems. Your greatness lies in figuring out From the moment something goes wrong, what you're going to do to get it back on track to go right. It's not the problem that's the problem. The problem is how you're handling the problem. The greatness is there. The knowledge is even there because there really is no right or wrong. It's just, are you going to sit down and say, well, this didn't work out. I'm just not doing this anymore. Or are you going to say, I know this has worked for many people. I'm not quite sure how this is supposed to work for me, but I'm going to change some things, and I'm going to get out there, and I'm going to do it different. I'm going to do it different. But what are you going to do? Do you really want to stay where you're at? Right now, do you want to look back in a year from now and say, man, didn't make President's Club again? This should never be again unless you're saying, yep, didn't make President's Club again. I made Honor Society, baby. That's what it should be. It should be, I'm going to move a step up, and if you don't make it, You better know that you're $1,000 closer this year than you were last year. If you were a UL this year, you should strive to say, I'm not only going to be UL plus, I'm going to be an AUL. I'm going to get it done. And if you happen to get that done and you're halfway to EUL, great for you. But I'm telling you, Your greatness lies in your path and to continue down your path no matter what. Avon does something you don't like, so what? I got news for you. Newsflash, hear me. If you think that they are not going to do anything else (laughs) that you're not going to like, well, you know what? Just get over it right now. Mark it on the calendar because a month from now you may see something else they don't like. 
You should not be dwelling on what they're doing that you don't like. It's okay to say you don't like it. I say I don't like it just about every time. But my next statement is, I may not like it, but I'm going to figure out how I'm going to make it work. No matter what. Do you wonder where that comes from? Do you think I just pulled it out of the air onward? No matter what. Because sometimes the onward is the stuff that's right in front of you. It's, it's not always the customer who didn't place an order. Sometimes your onward has to come because of what you've done. Maybe you really meant to get out from in front of the computer and off Facebook, but you looked at your clock and said, oh, hell, it's 1.30. I can't get nothing done now. Might as well go ahead and play some more farm reel. Come on now. Let's go ahead and plant a few more crops. Hey, if you do, you do. But I got news for you. Your greatness don't lie in Farmville, so you know. I'm not cutting on games. I play games, guys. But what I'm saying is when you make the mistake of saying, wow, I've been at the computer a little bit too long today. Oh, my gosh, it's like 1.30. Don't say the day's gone. You need to look at it and say, whoa, I've got two more hours before the kids come home. Okay, this is it. I've made a mistake here in the morning into the afternoon, but what can I do for the next hour and a half? What can I do because I need to feel my greatness? I need to know what I'm doing right now. I have all week let this stupid thing that I think Avon did get to me. So what am I going to do right now, right now, to show myself that I am going to be responsible for my business, that I am going to be responsible? And, and, and this is why, let's go in here now. Last 15 minutes, I want to go into, especially you, we all have customers, hopefully, or why are you on the call? <laughs> we all have customers. We all have teams. I don't care if you got one person on your team or you got 301 people on your team. Your team members are not stupid. And you think you're so smart about hiding your attitude, your demeanor. I got news for you. They can see through you. They can see maybe a different action with you. They can see that, um, you know, Molly just doesn't seem like herself. And you know what? Sometimes it typically is really Molly does not seem like herself. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm having a bad day personally. Maybe I'm having a bad day with Avon. The deal is, you're allowed to have a bad day. That's not it. But when you let something keep you there longer than a bad day, somewhere along the line, you are going to have to go to that mirror that talks back to you and say, whose problem is this really? And when your attitude is not good, I will guarantee freaking you it is going to be contagious to your team. It is going to be contagious when you're delivering those orders. And you think, oh, no, man, I hired it well. No, you don't. No, you don't. I used to think that too. Complaining to Lee before I get out of the car to go in here and deliver these orders. And you know what? I can even feel the difference in me. I'm all happy to look. Like, oh, hey, y'all. How you all doing? Whatever. And then I had this nice old lady in Southland say, Molly, you just look like you're not having a great day. And I thought, dang, she's good. She's 89, but she good because I thought I was hiding it. No, I was having a bad Avon day. And she saw it, and that made me realize that, you know what, i got to start letting go of some stuff. And if something's not working for me, i got to figure out what I need to do to either go around it, go over it, go under it, go through it, get rid of it, whatever it is, because I've got to get back to business, and I've got to get back to providing greatness, to try to 
figure out where am I at my best? Where is my greatness in all this? Is your greatness in recruiting and lifting up your team? Is your greatness dealing with your customers? Is your greatness where your focal point is on what you know you want to do? Is your greatness in your goals? Is your greatness in your dreams? Is your greatness in your family? Or is your greatness all those things combined? Quit thinking you've got to be at the top, guys, in order to be great at this. I learned something from, from my Onward No Matter What group. I learned stuff from Team Onward consistently. And by the way, their EULs all the way down to candidates, new representatives who are selling, and they will share something with me. And I say, whoa, 10 years in this business, and I've never tried that because they are thinking and they are they are using their greatness no matter what it is you should be celebrating your successes no matter how big no matter how small in this business in your life we just had mother's day for all you moms out there and for all you daughters maybe in the relationships you have with your mom there is greatness in that. I was only able to experience that for 16 years with my mom. But there is greatness in that. There is greatness in the relationship with your team. There is greatness in your relationship with your kids. Isn't that why we do this, ladies and gentlemen? Don't we do this to provide, to provide something bigger than we can even imagine? I mean, you know, some of you are probably not going to like the fact that I, that I take some of this into the Bible, but I have to think about things like Noah building the ark, man. Seriously. Everybody laughed at him. He told everybody, you know, something's going to fall from the sky, going to be some rain coming. They who even knows that they knew what rain was then. But God said there's going to be a flood. And he got, yeah, he got, he got, he got mocked. He got laughed at. His family got laughed at. Everybody, he, everybody got, everybody thought he was crazy. And you know what? He just kept building that ark and, he, and it took him so long to do it. And suddenly the rains came. And suddenly what he built wasn't so funny anymore. It saved his life. And when I think about this Avon business, at least for me, in so many ways, I was laughed at. I was scoffed at. Family didn't believe in me. Friends thought I was crazy. They would go, oh, that's nice. And we all know what that's nice means. Really, she'll be out of that in a month or she'll figure that out. And sometimes it did get to me. And sometimes I did have a good cry about it. And sometimes I did get pissed off. But I have to tell you something. I kept building it, whether they laughed, whether they told me I was crazy. Molly, how much more time and effort are you going to invest in that? How much more time are you going to do that little lipstick thingy? You going to keep making that dollar twenty-seven, Molly? What you going to make? Yeah. But I did. Sometimes I didn't even answer them. I would just go and do it. My attitude was, it's my life. If I want to be out till 2 o'clock in the morning tossing books in driveways, that's my guess. That's my life. Who cares what you think? Yeah, that's right. I do want 400 more customers if I can get them. I don't care if you think that I should have them or not. I'm going to go do it. 
Yeah, I know I just had six representatives just get up and walk and quit off of my team. I get that they did that. I get that they walked away. Yes, I am going after 10 more. You're right. That is my goal to get 10 more this campaign. I'm going to do it whether you think it's okay or not. See, I believed in what I was building. I believed in what I was doing because, see, the people around you are not going to see the greatness in this. You hear me. They are not going to see the greatness because, see, some people only measure their greatness in the almighty dollar. It's all about who makes the most money. And the truth of the matter is the end result will be, if you keep it up, that you will make the most money. Why is that? Because you are willing to do right now what very few people will do in order to have in the future what very few people are going to have because you are the one who has chosen to work hard and believe in the greatness of your company and of your team and of your business and of your sales and of your customers, and of what you want for your family, and you want for your life, and you want for your attitude, and you want for your future, and you want for your team's future, that, that is where the greatness lies. And people with shallow minds will never see what you see, ever. Quit trying to convince them and just smile at them and to yourself say, you just keep on sitting back there and watching me, okay? Because I'm getting ready to show you something. We're going to roll on out of here in the next couple of years, and you're going to say, what? Those people are going to wish they had jumped on board with you a long time ago. Those people are going to try to figure out how you started earning those Avon trips. What happened? How could you possibly have done that? There's no way Avon's doing that for you. Oh, yes, there is a way. Yes, there is. But it starts with you. And I don't care if your greatness right now is the size of a mustard seed. You need to nurture it and you need to feed it. And if you don't believe in your own greatness, and the greatness of your team, no matter how large or small, and the greatness of your dream, and the greatness of your goals, and the greatness of what you want to build, and the greatness of what you want for your family, what you want for yourself, what you want to show others that you are truly made of, no matter what they thought of you in the past. If you do not believe in it, I'm telling you right now, Nobody is going to. You cannot succeed without addressing your greatness and nurturing it. I'm telling you tonight, you remember this Friday night. I want you to remember it is May 16th. It is 9.57 Eastern Standard Time. And anyone who is listening to this call live or listening to this call on a replay, or listening to this call on a YouTube video that my awesome husband puts on for me, you listen to me. There is greatness inside of you. We were all built with that greatness because God has created us all. But it is up to us to carry the attitude of onward no matter what. It is up to us to decide what we want through the problems, through the crushing blows of this business, through the changes that can happen that we don't like, through the people who do not believe in us, through the customers that we wish we would order more and they don't, to the team members we wish would stay but they walk away. It is up to us us to say, this is going to work because I will not fail because there is only failure in quitting and I am not a quitter because my motto is onward no matter what, through the tears, through the pain, 
through the hard times, through the good times, through the wine, through the Pepsi, through the coffee, through the water, anything you got going on out there, peeps, all right? It is up to you. So I say to you, PC members and above, leaders who are attending, your galas, rise up and celebrate what you have done. For those who are working towards it, you don't have to wait to make it to celebrate. You can start celebrating your greatness right now. Do not let the naysayers get to you. Brush them off just like that mosquito on your sleeve or slap it, girl. Just slap it. Slap it hard when you have to. But acknowledge your greatness. Thank you for joining us. It is now 10 o'clock. Go back to drinking your wine. Go back to work in your business. I will be posting more on the yard sale slash Avon 10 sale that we are starting. And I want you all to go out and work your business. Share on onward. Tell your team to